you are not sure about consent, just imagine instead of initiating sex, you are making them jello fries. You say, do you want jello fries? And they say, yes, I beg, I want to. Then you know they want jello fries. If you say, do you want jello fries? And they are like, oh, I'm not sure, but maybe, Sha. Then you can make them jello fries or not. But be aware that they may not eat it. And if they don't eat it, and this is the most important part, do not make them eat it. Just because you made the jello fries doesn't mean you are entitled to make them eat it. If they say, nah, I just had a mala at White House, no jello for me, Biko. Then don't make them jello fries. They just don't want jello fries, okay? They might say, of course, I want jello fries. Who says no to jello fries? And then when the jello fries is ready, they actually don't want the jello fries at all. Sure, that's kind of annoying as you've gone through the whole wahala of cooking the jello fries. But they remain under no obligation to eat your jello fries. They did want the jello fries before, but now they don't. Some people change their minds in the time that it takes to parboil the rice, make the sauce, steam the rice, and it's okay for people to change their mind. And you are still not entitled to make them eat it, okay? If they are unconscious, don't make them jello fries at all. Unconscious people don't want jello fries, as they can't answer the question, do you want jello fries? Because they are unconscious. Okay, maybe they were conscious when you asked them if they wanted jello fries, and they said yes. But in the time it took to parboil the rice, make the sauce, and steam the rice, they are now unconscious. Then you should just put the jello fries aside, make sure the person is safe. And this is important again, don't make them eat the jello fries. They said yes then, but sure, unconscious people don't want jello fries. Trust me on this. If someone says yes to coming to eat jello fries at your place last Saturday, that doesn't mean they want you to make them jello fries all the time. They don't want you to come to their house unannounced, cook them jello fries and then force them to eat it. But you wanted jello fries last week. Or to wake up to just seeing yourself shoving jello fries down their throat. But you wanted jello fries last night. So, if you can understand how completely absurd it is to force people to eat jello fries when they don't want to eat jello fries, then how hard is it to understand when someone says no to sex? Whether it's jello fries or sex, consent is everything. And on that note, I'm going to eat a steamy plate of jello fries with dodo and fried chicken. <laughs>